the collapse of what we've seen is the collapse of Dawa again. Ali Dawa has has said that Zakia Nike is wrong for using scientific miracles in the Quran as if it's a proof of the Quran. He, he said it recently, just in the last month, just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Now the point is. He's therefore admitted that, that Islam has been pushed forward on a false basis. Nice. You know, and by pushing it forward on a false basis, yeah. he's admitted that, that Muslim, there are Muslims who've become Muslims on a false pretext. Right. Well, all right. So if you're one of those Muslims yeah. who embraced Islam on a false pretext, <laughs> Like the fake miracles in the Quran, <laughs> I simply invite you to now to leave Islam. Yay! You were conned by a con artist. All right. You were conned by a con artist. Thank you, Allah. And that con artist yeah. has duped you. But here's another thing. Yeah. If they were pushing Islam with scientific arguments that were not true. Okay. What other arguments have they pushed Islam by that are also not true? Right. If Ali Dawa is admitting yeah. that scientific miracles were a false claim, yeah. a debunked argument, a bad argument, what other bad, false, duped arguments have they advanced Islam with? That's a good question, Bob Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. there are many black Muslims who became Muslim because they were told lies about the Christian slave trade. Yeah. And they were told lies about the Islamic slave trade. Yeah. If you're one of those Muslims, it's time to leave Islam. Leave it! If you're a Muslim who became a Muslim because of a scientific miracle, yeah. it's time to leave Islam. Leave it! Leave it! If you're someone who became a Muslim because someone convinced you yeah. that the Bible doesn't show that Jesus Christ is God and you yeah. believe them, All right. that's a false argument. Yeah. It's time to leave Islam. Leave it! The, the car salesmen of the Islamic community have been selling dodgy cars Four. to the Muslim community Four. and they've been selling dodgy cars Four to naive Christians and others in our culture and our society. For the past of but because of Christians yeah. like me yeah. and like um, Paperboy. like Paperboy Chris and like Chris Chris David Woods and David Woods Chavos, thank you <laughs> and Jay Smith yeah. and many others these kinds of arguments have been busted Islam has been put to scrutiny in a way that it has never been put before. Correcto. And it is collapsing under that scrutiny. Right. Christians have been subject to scrutiny on every aspect of our faith for 300 years. How long? 300 years. <laughs> and the central message of the Christian faith yeah. has stood the test of all the criticisms. What is that central message of the Christian faith? That Christ was crucified, that Christ rose from the dead, and that Christ is coming again. There is sufficient, strong, empirical evidence to justify the belief that Jesus Christ was a real person, to believe that he died on a cross, right. to believe that he proclaimed himself as the Messiah, Amen. to believe that he rose from the dead on the third day. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, yeah. if Jesus Christ rose from the dead, yeah. then that's it. That's it's it. game over. Finito. Every other religion is false. Right. Every other religion or worldview does not matter because if the resurrection is true then that means that Christianity is true and it is game over for every other ideology and every other belief system whether it's Nazism, Communism, 
progressive politics, liberal politics, Islam, Sikhism, Buddhism, Judaism, atheism, agnosticism. <laughs> if Jesus Christ rose from the dead, the argument is finished. And that, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. is the proposition that Christianity stands or falls by. Right. And despite the best efforts yeah. of liberal critics, <laughs> of Muslim critics, <laughs> of atheist critics, yeah, yeah. of agnostic critics, yeah. none of them have been able to disprove the Christian belief in the resurrection. None of them have been able to come up with a counter theory or a counter hypothesis that disproves the Christian faith. Right. On the contrary, okay. critic after critic after critic have admitted that something happened to convince the first Christians that indeed Jesus Christ had risen from the dead. They don't say what it was. Okay. They don't agree that it was that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Okay. But even the critics of the Christian faith yeah. agree that 2,000 years ago, a group of people who knew that their Messiah had died, yeah. had risen from the dead. And something happened to convince them of that fact. They can't explain the experience, but they don't deny the experience. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you, Borat. You fraud.